Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a comparison review between the two ordinary vitamin C suspensions. So the first is their vitamin C suspension 30% in silicone and the second is their vitamin C suspension 23% plus hyaluronic acid spheres 2%. So if you guys are wondering what the difference really is between these two products, if one is clearly superior to the other, if I would recommend either, we're going to jump right into that. I will show you guys what these products look like, how they apply to the skin. We will talk through ingredients, formulation, everything you need to know basically if you ask me so let's jump right into it Before we jump into this review, I want to quickly disclaim I'm not an esthetician, I'm not a dermatologist, and I'm not any kind of medical professional. This video is not meant to be a replacement for advice from a medical professional, and you should always seek guidance from a dermatologist for skin-related concerns. I do a ton of skincare research, but I don't claim to be any of those things. In my opinion, The Ordinary as an entire brand is extremely overwhelming. They have so many different options across different product categories, and vitamin C is one of those categories where I feel like there's way too much going on. So not only do we have different forms of vitamin C, we have suspensions, serums, powders, we then have different forms of the forms of vitamin C. So we have two different kinds of vitamin C suspensions. Suspensions of vitamin C are not something that I've ever talked about before here on this channel. It's not a go-to in my skincare routine. I don't use vitamin C suspensions really ever. What they are is essentially vitamin C powder suspended in a solution. So a suspension is something that has particles that do not dissolve in a liquid solution. So vitamin C powder, basically, with some other ingredients mixed in there. They're a little bit different between the two, but that's the gist of it. So let's start off with their vitamin C suspension with hyaluronic acid spheres. So this has one fluid ounce of product and retails for $5.80, which is so crazy and expensive. It feels almost too good to be true. And this has 23% vitamin C. The form of vitamin C that's used in this product is ascorbic acid. So this vitamin C suspension definitely has more ingredients than their 30% suspension. So yes, we have hyaluronic acid within this formulation as well as some other emollients that are going to help to soften and smooth the skin. And actually the second ingredient in this one is squalane, which is an antioxidant emollient that helps to soften the skin, smooth the skin, and hydrate the skin. So it could be something that you really love and you find works really well with your skin. However, the issue is that squalane is actually an ingredient that's naturally occurring within our skin. It's part of sebum. Excess sebum is one of the things that contributes to acne and breakouts. So if you're acne prone, that ingredient might be something that you actually want to avoid and might be something that promotes the formation of breakouts for you. So this product could potentially be an issue for you if you are acne prone, especially because squalane is the second ingredient on the label. So we know it's not something that only has 0.1% within this formulation. It's one of the major ingredients in this vitamin C suspension. So keep that in mind if you're acne prone. Within that same realm though, I did see that this has a hydrating ingredient in it called glucomanon, which may potentially help to control the amount of acne bacteria that's on our skin. Of course, I would not be able to tell you that. The only way you would know for sure if this is going to cause you to break out is if you try it out. But that addition of that ingredient does not necessarily mean that it's going to cancel out the squalane. Do you know what I mean? I just found that interesting that there is actually an ingredient in here that may help to control acne bacteria, but to what extent, we don't really know. Other than that, there's not really anything major that I want to call out in this formulation. Again, there's hyaluronic acid and some other emollients, and all of those emollients are pretty good for the skin, but nothing that was amazing or spectacular. And there are also no other antioxidants in this formulation to work with that vitamin C to give you an even more potent antioxidant effect. So that's definitely a downside of this specific product. You guys know that I use the Dermatology CE Ferulic Serum. I'm obsessed with that. It's my favorite vitamin C ever. And that's amazing because it has vitamin C, vitamin E, and ferulic acid. All three of those are powerful antioxidants, but when you put them together in one product, that means you have an even more powerful antioxidant effect, an even more potent effect than you would if you just had that serum with just one of those antioxidants. So that's what you're getting here. 
this does have a higher percentage of vitamin C but then it lacks those other ingredients. So let's talk about the consistency of this product, application, all of those things. So this is one of the weirdest skincare products I have personally ever tried. It has a very gritty kind of sandpapery feel to it. It's so bizarre. And the grittiness, I would say, isn't anything that's too major. Like the actual pieces, I have, <laughs> like playing a mini violin the actual pieces that give it that gritty feeling aren't super large or scratchy they're just very apparent like this is not a silky smooth product that's going to feel amazing to put on the skin that you're going to love to reach for in my opinion it doesn't feel good to put on my skin and when I have other products that feel incredible and make me want to apply them that alone I'm like why would I even use this because it's not comfortable. The grittiness doesn't stay permanently though. It's not on your face the rest of the day. At least in my experience, it doesn't leave a gritty residue. It's just as you're rubbing it into the skin, you feel the grittiness of the product, which is just, it doesn't feel good. And then the lasting residue, while it's not gritty, it is slightly greasy. So I feel like if you had really oily skin, you would not enjoy how this looks. It's probably from that squalane that's giving you that kind of dewier, luminous finish that looks a little bit greasy on me. I have combo skin that leans oily, so keep that in mind. If you're super dry, you may love the way that that looks on your skin, but if you're really oily, I feel like you should stay away from this. Other things worth mentioning. As I was applying this to my face, it did start to feel tingly, but it wasn't anything painful. It didn't sting, and it wasn't something that lasted for a long time, maybe like 30-ish seconds. They do mentioned on their website that tingling is a very common side effect because it has such a high percentage of vitamin C and also that stinging potential is very high as well so it may sting your skin for a few seconds but it's not something that should be long lasting so keep that in mind if this continues to sting your skin long after you apply it then it's not a product i would reach for there's no need for that in your life when you have other options that are not going to sting your skin so overall formulation and application of this suspension in my opinion was just not very pleasant it felt gritty to apply it started to make my skin tingle and then it left kind of a greasy residue. So it's just not something I liked. It may be something that you enjoy. Obviously everyone has different preferences, but I was like, this is not fun. <laughs> and I like it when skincare feels good and is fun and makes me want to apply it. So application I didn't love. And on top of that, I was reading online that grittiness in a product like this can actually indicate that the vitamin C is not stable. So if it's not great to apply, then what's the point in using a suspension like this that has that high potency of vitamin C if it's not stable? Because then you're losing the effectiveness of the vitamin C. So in my opinion, this is not a vitamin C that I would personally recommend. If you love it, that's great. I'm glad that it works for you. But if the stability is in question, then why are we even wasting our time with something that kind of sucks to apply? <laughs> Also, this packaging is not great. I feel like a lot of product comes out because it is that liquidier consistency. So just be careful with that. If you do end up purchasing this, a lot comes out of the bottle. And then I feel like it's too much. Okay, now let's talk about their vitamin C suspension, 30% in silicone. So this one, unlike their 23% vitamin C suspension, does not have hyaluronic acid in it. It doesn't have those emollient ingredients to help to soften and smooth the skin. It's very, very stripped back. It's essentially what it says. Vitamin C suspension with some silicone ingredients. So this has two different kinds of dimethicone and then it has an ingredient called polysilicone-11 and then that's it. So there's nothing else in here that's going to help to improve surface level hydration or replenish the skin, condition the skin, nothing like that. No other antioxidants to help to make this even more potent. So that's definitely a downside. Of course, this is 30% vitamin C. So that's a very high percentage. That is a potent amount of vitamin C, but it would be even better if it had other antioxidants in it. But of course it's super affordable. So if you were to use this, I would say using it in combination with another antioxidant serum would be ideal. The formulation of this one is much nicer than this one in my opinion. First of all, there is absolutely no grittiness at all. It's very, very smooth. So that 
right off the bat is great but it's a very specific formulation that I feel like a lot of people wouldn't enjoy because of course since it has just the ascorbic acid and silicone ingredients it has that silicone feel if you're familiar with benefit professional or any sort of other silicone based makeup primer then you know what that feels like and it's definitely not for everyone i don't personally love that silicone feel on the skin but i know some people really enjoy that so it's soft it doesn't have the grittiness at all to it and it actually does a really good job at blurring the pores which is one of the benefits of dimethicone and other silicone ingredients so if you suffer from large pores if you have really oily skin i feel like you would really love this as an option for vitamin c but if you have super dry skin i feel like this is not something you would like at all and then this one did make my skin tingle a little bit as well I didn't feel that it tingled as much as this one and again it wasn't anything major I didn't have any stinging with it it wasn't long lasting so just make sure to be on the lookout for those sorts of things when you're using new skincare products if it's something that continues to irritate your skin don't use it and because we don't have that grittiness in this formulation, we don't have those same stability concerns that we have with this vitamin C. So this actually is a really good affordable option for vitamin C. Yes, you're not getting those other antioxidant ingredients, but I'm keeping in mind that it's an extremely affordable way to get a high potency of vitamin C. So again, I would recommend using this in combination with another product that has other antioxidant ingredients in it. And if you have oily skin, large pores, or you just enjoy that kind of silicone feel to a product you may love this but other than that I wouldn't say it's a vitamin C product I think you need to run out and purchase it's definitely not something I think everyone needs in their skincare collection because it's so particular when I'm using vitamin C I love it to be a serum that makes my skin look glowy and healthy that is one of the reasons that I love using vitamin C serums because they just well good vitamin C serums because they make my skin just look so healthy and glowy and that's not a benefit that I get with this product so going to be for a very particular kind of skin type slash preference and that's about it so that is it for my comparison review of these two vitamin C suspensions from The Ordinary. I hope that was helpful for you guys. You will definitely have to let me know in the comments below if you use either of these. Do you love them? Do you hate them? What are your thoughts? Are you interested in purchasing either after watching this video? Leave a comment below. We will chat there. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that notification bell. I upload three to five days a week for you guys. So if there's anything else you would like to see from me next on this channel leave that request in the comments below otherwise my next video will be up in a few days so i hope you have a great few days